So I'm here with uh, Sunit Verma. He's in a fabulous fashion show right now. Starting off right at the uh, name of uh, what you titled it, Nayantara. Why was it Nayantara? Because, you know, I find that the word Nayantara evokes a certain emotion in me. So, of course, uh, two of my nieces, one is called Nanika and one is called Tar uh, Tarika and they're the love of my life. So you sort of combined So it. it's Nayantara. Okay. And I also find that the woman who would actually wear me very beautifully at a Parisian ball and meet that French prince, her name would be Nayantara. This is the story I've built for myself in my head. So I kind of believe that her name is Nantara. She'll definitely bless you if she finds that uh, French prince. Uh, co moving on to com uh, something completely different. You actually started your career the year I was born. Wow. <laughs> okay. I should go to sleep now. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, I mean, you're, you're 50 plus. You don't look 50 plus. You look much younger than that. Do you hear that very often or I think you do? <laughs> you know, people are kind. I do hear it. But, you know, I don't think about it. Honestly, like, I just, I'm so busy working hmm. and traveling and, you know, just working, essentially living my life. I don't right. think about age. If so, You know, I, I remember I, re I read this somewhere that I think at some point in your life, you find a date that suits you the most and mentally you remain that age for the rest of your life. Is that true? It's true. Okay. It is actually true. So okay. I think there, there's a whole test for that. Right. So I think for me, my mental age is 32. Like I was so happy and engrossed and energetic and hardworking and thrilled with my life at 32. I don't think I've actually gone beyond. I may have matured as a person, but mentally in many ways, I feel like I've stayed at 32 because my energy levels are like that. Right. You know, I, I mean, I start calling my staff at two in the morning, three in the morning. The red color is not right. That <laughs> make the veil again. I, I, I think they don't want to talk to me. <laughs> not a very okay. I'll keep quiet about that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Last question. Last question before I uh, let you go to your next collection, which I think is titled Sleep. Yes. Going right. To sleep. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> what are the most ridiculous myths about designers or models which are there? I'm asking this to everyone, so I want to ask it to you also. I think designers that they're all divas. Okay. Uh, I think that's wrong. I think okay. a lot of them are. You know, I've been in the business for 32 years, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't think I would have lasted 32 years being a diva, because you have to have your feet on the ground. You have to be humble. You have to work with all sorts of people. You have to work with your carriers and models and clients. So I think you know you have to be a very very balanced person to be a successful designer. There are a lot of designers who may not necessarily be successful and fly off the handle. But I think, I think that's wrong. And I think for models, the very fact that they're just beautiful, brainless girls, it's completely incorrect. Right. It's complete, most of them are super smart. They're super smart. So why the perception then? I, mean. I think people are afraid of beauty. <clears throat> people are afraid of beauty? Yeah. If, you, if okay. they see somebody very, very beautiful, they don't want to believe this person is beautiful and intelligent. Just like me. Okay, They fine, just, want to, they just yeah. want to believe that this person is just beautiful, so then we have nothing to, you know, they don't feel insecure. Ah. So when when okay, somebody is okay. very good looking, right. you automatically, so everybody says, oh, male models are dumb. They're not dumb. They're just, they're just good looking and smart. Right. And so the girls, they're beautiful and they're intelligent. Right. And I think the misconception that, you know, they're dumb and stupid is actually wrong. It's, it's, it's only people who are looking at them and the insecurities make them feel that way. It's completely wrong. That is a very wise answer. He's been very patient with me <laughs> and all the best and uh, nice talking to you. Thank yeah. you. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you Thank so you. much.